Hello everyone, Mr. Mayboom here, and welcome to week three of term two. I hope you had a lovely long weekend, and I hope you're ready for the four days of learning ahead of us. Just a reminder to be safe, be respectful, and be a learner, and also to be kind to others. Other students, other staff, and outside of school with your family, friends, and other people. Here you can see the calendar of events for the remainder of term two. You can see we have a busy term ahead of us. This Wednesday, the AFL friendly competition is happening and there are select students from years four, five and six that will represent our school at that competition. We know that you will represent us um, with pride. Next week, next Tuesday, our inter-school sport competition against other schools begins for the next three weeks. And next Friday, we have our school disco, which I know that you're really, really looking forward to. And on the Sunday, it's Mother's Day. So students start thinking about how you can spoil your mum on Mother's Day. Thank you to the teachers and to the students for helping to pick up the rubbish around our school so that we have a rubbish free school. I know that your teachers on your way to maybe play a class game are picking up rubbish on the way on your way back to class, from eating to the classroom. There are lots of opportunities to help pick up the rubbish so that there is no rubbish in our school. Year five and six teachers will soon be doing the Be Secure online quiz with their class. This is all about learning how to be cyber safe online. At the end of the quiz, each student uh, will receive a certificate that you can take home and parents you can also access the Be Secure online quiz online. You can see the website address there also. Here is the current layout of our school oval. I'm asking for suggestions on how we can maybe change this up a little bit. That might include adding additional sports or cutting up the oval even more with more spaces to play on. Um, thank you to 5GH and 5LH. Your drawings, your designs um, were wonderful. I absolutely loved looking at them and, and seeing your designs and your suggestions. So thank you for that. And I know I spoke to some students in 5E about your suggestions also. So keep them coming, please. Hopefully by the end of this week, maybe, we'll have a finalised um, uh, new oval layout that we will move forward with. Year six student leaders, well, that can be anyone from year six, of course. Continue to do a wonderful job as you are out and about on the duties that you are rostered onto weekly. And remember to get your cards signed. Once you have 10, come and see me and I will have a very nice certificate for you. And I will also be able to add that leadership onto your report card. Students, you will continue to receive letters from your class teachers to take home. And parents, we are asking that you um, add in any unexplained absence reasons on the letter and then re return to the school office or have your child return to the school office. It's really important that if any students are away from school that all of the absences are explained. Thank you in advance. Inter school sports starts next Tuesday. Now here you can see some key information, the eligibility to be able to play into school sport, all players need to display high levels of behaviour at school. So we don't want to have to remove students from into school sport because of their poor behaviour at school. All players must represent our school with pride and promote our school's positive reputation while at sport. So you can see down below, spirit and sportsmanship, we play for fun, fitness and friendship. So good sportsmanship is the number one priority on the inter-school sport days. And that's what we expect. It's just a bonus if you win. Parents attending, um, we encourage you to spectate and we will send a draw to you as soon as we receive the draw for the three sports that are being played, netball, Oztag and soccer. Here you will see team uniforms also listed. Students will receive the uniform this week. This more, uh, each morning before school, students can come to the office and Mrs. Profke will have the uniform sizing happening for students. And on the day of the inter-school sport competition, it's important 
that students wear the complete team uniform. They also wear their school hat. They have correct socks. Some of the socks will be issued with the uniforms and that they wear the black sports shoes to and from the venue because you can't come to school in your boots and wear boots all day long and you can't get on the bus with boots. So get on the bus with shoes and get changed into your boots at the venue. Here is our thought for the week. Work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. Have a great week, everyone.